Greetings teachers and colleagues. This demo or tutorial will be in-depth step-by-step on how to use Zoom as a remote teaching tool. Okay, so before we start, make sure you already prepared your lesson. So I have the notes here of computer hardware and also I have prepared a PowerPoint to display for the students. And at the same time, I have a page of the book itself that has been converted into PDF to check their advancement in the lesson. So I have already prepared my lesson in advance. So let's start here. First thing, first note, make sure that your date and time is set correctly. This date and time is important because if you have an issue with date and time setting in your PC or your student have an issue, you will not be able to meet at the same meeting room because maybe you will be in the future and he's in the past or vice versa. To make sure your time zone and date and time is set correctly. Now here we have four buttons. New meeting, you will use it to make a new meeting but you should have the contacts already added to your list. So you cannot use this unless you have the contacts. Join a meeting, you will join a meeting by using a meeting ID. Usually it consists of about nine numbers and the name of the meeting, then you can join directly. Schedule a meeting and that we will use today. Have some settings should be set. First, what is the name of the meeting? So let's say you, today you will have, for example, grade seven, RCT, for example. Now, this is, will be the name of the topic, as you can see here, for your class. So the student will see this in the meeting name as this is for grade 7 ICT, or to be correct, grade 8 ICT. So this is the time. You can make the, 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 the meeting as a recurring meeting, so at any time given, the student can join, or it should be time, and it's better to be time so you'll have a specific time and if you note here if you use 45 minutes this is a basic plan from doom so you cannot use more than 30 minutes in each meeting after setting the meeting name and the meeting date today is now it's 6 43 it will start in 7 maybe 15 minutes you will create your meeting id automatically or you can use a personal id it's preferred to use it generate automatically now while requiring a password it should be unchecked because students all of them can join without any password just to make it easy for them second option video is allowing the video to be visible of your your screen as a host or your participant as students and it's preferred to keep it on if you want to make sure everyone there existing in the class and is watching you and is being present on the class or you can keep it off next option is audio is to clarify which audio you are using a telephone or computer audio in advanced setting you have three important options which is enable waiting room second option enable joining before host and last but not least automatically record meeting on local computer first option will enable the students to join before you join the meeting is yours that they can join the meeting before you as a host be present there so for example now 644 if i make the meeting now and i send the link to join the meeting for my student they can join before seven o'clock comes so they will be in a waiting room before seven o'clock comes they enter to the class 645 so they will be in a waiting room and you will enable them to join before host they will be waiting for you and this option is very important for on a student that he was not absent he was not present sorry and for any students that were absent this will be, were absent this will be very useful because automatically the meeting will be recorded then converted into an mp4 video will be stored in your local library usually will be in on videos okay so we set our topic our date and everything is clear and we check our video we check the video and the audio and we make all these options the next you have to shadow your meeting and copy the link okay let's show your meeting scheduling 
Now your meeting is created with the date and time everything. You will copy it to clipboard and send it to your student, whether it's a WhatsApp group or a personal communication message, whether it's email or direct messages. So your students can click on this and directly come to your room. And this will be the room ID, these last numbers. Once the student click here, he can go in the room directly. Okay. Now the time have come, directly you will see your meeting to the right. Now once you click start, all the students, the waiting students and the student who will click on link after the meeting begins, they will join your room directly. Okay, this window to test your audio. Okay. If you notice here, a recording is being in process. This is the option that we already added. Now you can see here, it's giving me, I have a waiting room, which is the option I already uh, checked in the state. Now I have all these in the waiting room. They were here before I come as a teacher. So I will admit all. So we can start our class. Okay. Now we are officially in a meeting. And these are the students with us. We have Abdurrahman from grade 7, Anwar from grade 8, Muhammad Fara grade 9, Saud Awadi grade 8. And all these are the participants. So you can see them here to the right or you can manage them by chat and we will go through these icons one by one so the first icon will give you the ability to set the setting for your audio and to check whether your speaker is working to test your speaker and the name speaker is here that means it's checked and configured and the same thing for your mic and the same thing applies for your camera here in video the only option you will need to choose here is virtual background and this option also can be found in the next button here when starting your video you can see the same setting but all the settings can be seen here setting for audio and video but usually we use the visual virtual background and the audio to check your audio setting and speaker and the video to check your camera now everything is okay now we can start our meeting directly now once the meeting start you need to manage your students the first thing we will go through with this button invite invite you will not use it unless you have someone already in contacts so you will add him from your contacts if you already added or by email which in a student is not present here he didn't come to the class you can invite him to the class next one manage your participants which will give you the ability to manage them as how they participate in the class like for example I can change the view from here to gallery view or speaker view like I will see all the students now they are turning off their video but audio is on or you can make it a speaker view the options related to managing recipients are you can make him a host but don't choose this one unless you are sure he will giving you the control back once you make him a host from this option you cannot take the uh, control back unless he gave you unless he make you a host back because as you can see here al Shar is the host this is me and this is all of them are recipients so you can chat with him personally let's say for example let's say hi you can see this from me to abdurrahman directly but if you set it here for everyone, if I say hi, everyone will receive the message from me to everyone. So you can chat with him personally, make him a host or allow him to record so he can record the class as you are recording here. So he can record the same class as you are recording. You don't have to save the recording and save it to him. He will record it himself. Or you can re rename him or put him in a waiting room. They were already in the waiting room before you entered the class. So you can expel him out to the waiting room or remove him completely from the class. So let's say for example, let's test he wrote his name incorrectly here. He wrote grade 7 two times. So let's edit it. Rename. Let's take this one out. Okay. Now I rename him because most of them they will join by random names usually they will not write their full name or 
you can edit it whatever you like and more options are here these options you can choose after the meeting begins or you can choose them before the meeting begin in the setting so you can make recipients mute it once they enter allow them to mute and unmute themselves you should check this out or make it on if you have the trust they will manage their self, themselves or allow them to rename them so mute themselves and mute themselves rename themselves uh, or put participants in the waiting room on entry directly this automatically we put it on the setting when we schedule our meeting okay so these options can be managed from manage recipients and the last two options or three options is mute for all and mute all and the sharing option which mostly will use this one and this will give you the ability to share a file from your computer to the students let's say for example i will choose a file here so this word document which is the one i'm using here on my screen now all of the participants they have it so they can follow up with me on the notes themselves here all it sent directly to all of them so you can use it privately to send a file or a message or publicly to send a file or a message now you have managed your recipients you invited the one who didn't come now come to share screen share screen you have mainly two types of sharing sharing your screen as the full screen whatever the content is there or a whiteboard for iphone or tablet if it's connected to your pc and these screens here are the background screens so if you choose one of these the students will only, will only see this window even if you change the window if you minimize it or maximize it or if you move to another window he will only see this window uh, always and everywhere and but if you choose this screen whenever you move whenever to jump between windows he can see what you are doing so let's choose a screen and then we can choose the whiteboard on the next step okay now students can see this note we can all collaborate together and we can use all these tools and according to my practice my test sometimes this window or and this will not appear unless you move your mouse to the edges many times like this then they will pop up to the dark so first one will be the annotation so you can annotate on the document itself but this can be a little bit confusing really you are not annotating on the word document the original document as it is it's not has been touched it's just like you have a transparent mirror on top of your word document okay so you can choose all these options as annotation or you can write text okay or you can draw using all the draw tools like shapes or normal lines or you can put a stamps to encourage the students like giving them some red heart or some stars if they are doing good okay this is as a participation because they, you can give them control they can do all of this uh, while you are watching but as i said now you are not editing on the word document which is this document you are editing on the screen it's just like a transparent class on top of your screen so now you have two screen to be exact all these can be incorporated in your class now i have already mentioned before I am choosing a word document and I'm choosing a PDF and at the same time I'm choosing um, using also a PowerPoint I'm choosing to use a PowerPoint also all this can be used and incorporated in your class but you don't have to use all of them according to your comfort whatever suits you you can use so let's clear all this out clear all drawings now the second option here you will be using is remote control which now you can give the control to one of the students to control the screen and he can type and write and annotate and draw and do er and draw and do everything so let's give for example for now we have the control he's controlling the mouse now now Muhammad can you write something yeah
now how do you do okay so how you can take the control back from the same button you can click here and abort control abort control now you are taking the control back from everything now let's erase this to move to the next step which is using the ball whiteboard i will stop sharing my screen okay. now let's go to the second share which is the whiteboard now the same applies to using the whiteboard while you are rotating or writing you can use a text you can copy text from your document to here let's say for example this line you want it on the whiteboard directly you can go there select text and paste it there and start writing about your class and write the date and so on so this will be your whiteboard as normal on as any classes so you can use it as a whiteboard in your class or you can use it as a note writing tool so you can write the notes you don't have to make it prepared you can write them on the whiteboard and annotate and explain everything all these tools can be incorporated according to your comfort and your need and the same thing applies to the whiteboard which means you can give control also for students for the whiteboard as we did before let's this time give it for Anwar okay Anwar can you write something for us or draw something yeah anything <laughs> that's a good painting okay thank you now I will abort the control from Anwar just like I did the last time okay you will go to the edge you will click on control abort control now they are participating with you in the class now we'll stop sharing now let's go to chat which is the next button chat as the name suggests you will just chat with the students by sharing text messages private conversations or public conversations share files and they also can be publicly shared or privately shared so all these can be done on the main meeting room and you can see we are recording now all this will go on a fast recap you can invite a student who is not there with the students in the class you can manage recipients or you can manage them by the more options here which we said can be found also here same options are here making them host allow them to record remove them from the class rename them and so on the same options you have more options here for muting and unmuting and playing and exiting unlocking the meeting room and the same options applies for file sharing for if, if it's publicly or privately or for a specific student in the class now the last one is reaction you can give it for students as an encouragement now once i click close this recording automatically it will stop itself but also you can pause it and stop it during the meeting and that would be all i hope this was very clear if you have any inquiries or questions you can participate in the comments below now i close the meeting one type clause directly it will give you a window of converting the recording into mp4 which directly after it finished recording uh, sorry converting it will be stored on my local library once it finished automatically it will open the video library for me which will be stored in your document file or video file huge which will be on the document file which is meeting we just had you can go through it and uh, see everything went well you can revise and see what happened and how did the class went everything okay so you can share this video for a student that were absent or you can use for any purposes according to you that will be all thank you and if you have any questions you can participate in the comment below and stay safe